Hi, I'm Anand Alana, graphic modeler. And I'm Edward Rothbaum, architect. We both work for Berkeley Prinzler Architects here in the Netherlands. We'll show you our third prize winning entry for this contest. We are very happy to have achieved this result. Unfortunately, we cannot be there in person because of the time and distance involved. Before we present our entry, Ed will briefly describe our practice. Our practice is based in Alkmaar, the Netherlands. We were founded six years ago and currently have 20 employees. We have a strong focus on large and complex projects, and our portfolio includes a number of large healthcare facilities, including the new Martini Hospital in Groningen, also in the Netherlands, which won an award for its innovative design concepts. We've used Revit right from the beginning of the design process right through to the facility management phase. We started using Revit in 2002 as a three-dimensional presentation tool, and later we utilized the full range of Revit's capability, for example, technical drawings, schedules of quarantines, project and facility management. Because of Revit's great possibilities, it has now become our main production tool for every aspect of our architectural work. An example of this is our entry for the competition, which Anna will now explain. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> Here we can see one of our projects which has the wall-based elevator in it. So let's have a closer look at it into the section. Here we can see the elevator in section. It got four stops at the moment. As you can see, it will make a fifth stop in two seconds. So if you go to floor plan, you also can see the elevator in floor plan, which is a detail item. So we've got two elevators. So also in the second floor, you can still see the same elevator as here indicated in the ground floor. So we go back to the section. We'll see the four stops. And let's take a closer look at the elevator itself. If we go to medium detail, and if we go to fine detail, you see a lot of detail in fine detail. You can see the level it's on, the number of stops it has, according to the buttons. So it's got four stops, so four buttons at the moment. So let's make another stop for this elevator. We'll take, an, oh, instead of four, make it fifth, five, sorry, and two at level two. So just hold on for a moment, and here we go. So you can see now it's on level two and we got an extra stop at it. So we take a closer look, we've got now five buttons instead of four, and as you can see it's on level two. So the elevator will adjust itself according to the number of stops. If we go to the 3D view, we take another look at the elevator, then in fine detail you can see the push button, and of course it's not there anymore. So I'm finding this. So if we take this elevator and take it back to the first level, so we take it back to one and we do doors open as is indicated. And hold on for a moment. Okay, here we are. So there's the, le the elevator in 3D. And you can see all the buttons and the indicator. And that's uh, in fine detail. In no detail well you can see for yourself it's very nice at this stage so a very detailed wall-based lift uh, wall-based elevator that was our wall-based elevator in short the next possible step is to make the lift cap adjustable in for example size and door options to conclude this film we would like to show you some renderings of projects we have recently completed with the aid of Revit here we have the Comania Street office building in Alkmaar. This is the Cultural Educational Center in Langedijk. And this is the top view of the multifunctional outpatient clinic in a medical center in Alkmaar. And finally, the new Martini Hospital in Groningen. We would like to thank you for your time and that you have enjoyed this short presentation.